Well, first, let me start off by saying that I've been hunting this farm for several years now. There's a lot to this hunt that was learned in previous years the hard way, but keep in mind that this is the single hardest farm to hunt that I have personally experienced. Second thing that I want to point out is that this field specifically has given me the most trouble. Even though we can grow big bucks year after year, this field proved to be impossible to kill out of. Last year, this field was in standing corn. On opening day, we encountered who we knew at the time to be Captain Jack. He was walking out of the corn when almost all camera light was gone. That was the last time we saw him on his feet, and we were only able to get just a few nighttime pictures after that. So this year, the field had been switched to cotton. Cotton can be drought resistant and grows about waist tall to the average Joe. The cotton provided both food and cover for Captain Jack. On the first sit, the team sat in the ground blind. Tom set up this blind thinking that this was the safest spot to sit due to the predominant winds. On evening two, they sat on the irrigation pivot because of the wind direction, but still hoping to get a better angle of him since they watched him walk that direction the day before. On evening three, it was back to the blind. Captain Jack stood up and repeated the same pattern as he had in evening one. I decided to sink into the cotton where we had seen him stand up two other times. This was dangerous mainly because there was no way to tell exactly where he was betting. And we learned last year that there was zero room for error with Captain Jack. In terms of Kansas, we've talked about the genetic, age structure, and supplemental feeding benefits. So now let's talk a little bit of strategy. When is the best time to kill a mature buck? The answer is any time he can be legally taken. Kansas holds an opportunity of a different kind when deer are still under summer feeding patterns. Summer home ranges are often the smallest seasonal range of the year, so early muzzleloader season in September is the perfect time to take advantage of a relaxed mature whitetail. This makes them much easier to pattern and catch them on their feet during legal shooting hours. Today Tom showed us that at times deer spend a great deal of their lives in just one field with a little bit of habitat. The entire field was a food source. There was little to no predatory pressure, safety from humans was found in the rolls of cotton, and water was speckled throughout the landscape. With this combination, in terms of land ownership, you too can own your little cotton field holding huge rewards. But let's not forget, big old bucks like this don't normally fall easy. It took Tom two years to close the gap. Stay tuned, after the break we've got some great Kansas properties you won't want to miss.